KTEXAS REPORTER KARINA HOLLINGSWORTH SAT DOWN WITH CONGRESSMAN JODY ARRINGTON TODAY TO GET HIS REACTION TO THE ATTEMPTED ASSASSINATION ON FORMER PRESIDENT TRUMP JUST DAYS AGO. I TELL YOU, THE GUY, <laughs> A LOT has been, HAS BEEN SAID ABOUT HOW TOUGH HE IS. He, he, YOU KNOW, HE JUMPS UP FROM BEING SHOT AT AND MISSED WITH NOT INCHES BUT MILLIMETERS FROM LOSING HIS LIFE AND HE PUMPS HIS FIST IN THE AIR AND SAYS, Keep fighting, keep fighting. I, I, I think it speaks to his resolve and his commitment. And I think he's as undeterred and unrelenting in his pursuit to make America great again as he's ever been. And I think for most people who watched what happened and have rewatched it with more information and analysis, they probably think like I think, which is. It's nothing short of a miracle that the guy is alive. And I think he's on a mission. And former President Trump just recently announced his VP selection. Do you agree with it? I agree with it in that uh, J.D. Vance is uh, a, a good man. He's got a great personal story uh, where he had a lot of family struggles. He talks about the growing up in a in a, a working class community, in a working class family, a community that struggled economically, that struggled with a drug epidemic, uh, like we see in rural communities, even in West Texas. I think uh, my, uh, the most exciting thing about Senator Vance being vice president and the prospect of him being vice president is his commitment to the forgotten men and women in this country. For him, it's rural communities in the Rust Belt and those working people that uh, work in manufacturing plants all through the Midwest. And we have about four more months left in the presidential campaign. Do you have any plans on campaigning for Trump? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm campaigning for Trump uh, everywhere I go and, and uh, where it's appropriate. And it's, you know, not on, uh, in my official capacity, but I'm, I'm traveling the country encouraging people to go to the polls and um, peacefully set a course for this country that is far different than the policies and the, and the disastrous results of the policies we've experienced for almost four years. Whether people like Trump, his style, you know, his personality, I think that they trust that his policies are going to be better for the country. And uh, I think that's, it doesn't do, I don't think I have to do a whole lot, but I'm very proud of having served with President Trump and the, all the good things that we were able to do. And I think there's more to come. And I pray and I hope, and I certainly have a lot of confidence in the American people that President Trump will get another uh, four years. J.D. Vance will be our new vice president. And I think, uh, our best days will be ahead of us. 